Now the first thing we're going to need to make this website work is something called the movie clip loader object. And what it does is control how all of the SWFs are going to be loaded on top of this master movie. You'll notice that the movie clip loader object is going to be written on the master and because of that level 0 will control the loading of all movies. So even if we press a button on another level when we want to load a movie we just refer to level 0 and we say hey get the movie clip loader object on level 0 load another movie for me. So this is effectively going to control everything that has to do with loading in our entire Flash website. In the past when we wanted to uh, load SWFs, we often would use something called load movie or load movie num. I'll explain that a little bit more to you when we're looking at the differences between ActionScript 2.0 and 1.0. Now, if anybody ever needs to do something in 1.0 ActionScript, you should use the load movie num in place of the movie clip loader. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't really give us all of the capabilities that the movie clip loader object does. So, what we're going to be doing is looking at the movie clip loader object creating something called a listener and that listener is also going to help us to work with percentage preloaders among other things. So in order to get started let's go to the master file which you'll find in your starter folder and select the A action script layer, open up the action script window and type this in. var we're going to declare a variable just as we normally do and when we do, we're going to say var my mcl, which is going to be short for movie clip loader. And you can see if you scroll down here, you'll notice movie clip loader. Incidentally, if you were to just write this out with a capital M O V I E clip loader and you'll notice it turns blue indicating that this is in fact uh, something that's built into flash so new variable called mymcl we're strict data typing it to call it a movie clip loader object but effectively we're gonna have to tell flash that this is in fact a new movie clip loader object and you put in your brackets and a semicolon. That is all you really need to do to, to initialize and create that new movie clip loader object. And now whenever we will need to load something all we really need to do is to call my MCL or the movie clip loader object. For example I could say my MCL let's make sure that that's all in capitals the way I wrote it dot check out what happens even though it's something that we created ourselves it knows that my MCL is a movie clip loader object and it gives us all of the elements that we can add to the movie clip loader object most importantly load clip notice the code hinting here tells me the URL well what clip do you really want to load and second um, element that we have to add here is target what's the target? In our case we're going to be loading our movie clips onto a level. You will also uh, be well aware that you can load movie clips into uh, SWFs into empty movie clips and in that case we wouldn't be referring to anything on a level. However I'm going to be putting this on a level. So if for example the killer sites.swf file was the first one that you wanted to have loaded you could do this just open your quotations, write the name of your SWF, you can put a comma after that, and then just indicate what level you want this to load on. So I'm going to indicate loaded on level 5. So notice what we've done here variable my MCL movie clip loader. We told Flash it's a new movie clip loader object. Then anytime we call it, we say, hey, my MCL, load this clip, killer sites.swf, onto level 5. Let's test it out and see what happens. So, as you can see, although there's no text in place or anything like that done yet, what it does show you is that just by simply stating my MCL and telling it to load a clip, you've done this effectively. Now, 
for those of you who are working with ActionScript 1.0 or anything below version 7 of Flash, the older way of doing this was to work with something called load movie num. I'm going to comment this out temporarily, and it will be temporary because we're going to be doing this again. And what I am going to introduce to you here is load movie num. Load movie or load movie num. There are two different ones. Load movie was specifically used to load into empty movie clips. Load movie num, as the num implies, a numbered layer or level. So here, exactly the same thing that I did before. I'll copy paste it. So load movie num, and we're loading this movie onto level five. Effectively does the same thing, right? So why do we bother doing the movie clip loader object. Well, the real reason to use this is simply because it's going to afford us a whole bunch of other advantages that we don't get with the load movie num or load movie um, statement. So by doing it this way, as you'll see soon enough, we're going to be able to uh, also access percentage preloading among other things. So let's stick with this for now and that will explain to you the basics of setting up your movie clip loader.